Hello and welcome to the Teaspoon. Today we are checking out a early alpha, absolutely amazing game, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yeah, it's been developed by, it, it has still been developed, not been developed, by uh, Warhorse Studios, which is like really young studio and this is their first game I believe. And it's a Kickstarter success, they pledged over two million dollars. Still counting, still counting. Don't don't get excited about this game that you're gonna download it now and play it. No. It's going to come out in two years. Yeah. But get even more excited about this game because they've got two years to polish the whole thing and make it amazing. They've already been working on it two years. Yeah, I believe so. And now they've hired about I think altogether they've got like a hundred people working on the game, or fifty. Yeah, considering their budget, it is quite extraordinary. They they they, they make do with that budget, you know. That's how, how much money for, for per, per per one guy. Uh, no, there's there's a lot more money going in from investors. Okay. The Kickstarter was to prove to the investor that people would want this game. And if you look around. You can see that the, the, the landscape actually looks really awesome and that's because it's modeled uh, after a real place in the real world which is some It's actually a, yeah it's a, it's a it's a landscape that's been scanned in 3D and they've cut out certain bits that weren't too interesting but generally it's a one to one ratio with a real ran landscape yeah and they are not like a I don't see like anything that would, that would ruin the landscape because of it, you know, there's not like a, any mountain or anything that, that would stick out like a sore thumb. Now, the, this game, what I like about this game the most is their attention to detail. Even though this is this is the earliest alpha you can get, this is this really the earliest alpha. Earliest public alpha, yeah. or closed or whatever it is. Uh, if you look around, you can see that there's a lot of attention to detail, you know. This thing over here, this field, it's not like any other field in, in, in this village. Yeah, and any other field in this village is not like any other field in, in this village. Every field here is unique. And this fella here, now I'll show you how the dialogue works. It is quite strange. If I look straight to on his face, you know, it, it will be okay. The camera will be okay, but let's, let's, let's experiment a bit, okay? So I'll use camera like in this angle. Can you see what's going on with the camera? That's pretty cool. I like I like that until he turned around. <laughs> yeah. The camera is like traveling badly. And because this is early alpha, you cannot really change the settings, which we you will see the settings in the end of the video. However, because this is early alpha, you cannot really change the settings. So I, I would like to change the settings of the of the depth of field. So you can see around this around this beard it's quite terrible. And I would like to remove the motion blur, but I can't. It's a shame. But texture quality, this is a medium, okay? On the hard, it seems to be the same. I'm running sta on stable 30 frames per second. This is it. I, I don't want to talk to them because the dialogues are unskippable and they're not voice acted. And they're pretty much the same still. Yeah, to this day, they're pretty much the same. But. I mean, what, what I love is the meadows and how they look. Yeah, the meadows are awesome. This place is actually a real place. I'll sh I found it on the on the on the stream, on the first impression stream. If you missed it, I will put the bits and pieces in, in in this video. So this is how Smopshe look like today. You can just walk around freely there, which is a shame. Now. Talking about the, the attention to detail, so you can see there's there's a bug crawling. It just crawled into the ground. Another one. You see them. That is real attention to detail. Like last time I've seen a bug crawling randomly, for no apparent reason. You cannot like harvest them or anything, do anything with them. Yeah, they, they have no use in the game. They're just aesthetical. Was in Half-Life 2, uh, Half-Life 1 actually, not 2. 
in the in the in the air vents they were like like little cockroaches and uh <laughs> this is cryogen based game look at the flowers yeah this is what cryogen can do if you walk into them they will bend in the way you're walking that's just so gorgeous uh it, it's in arma and other engines but they will not like break you know they will just not bend straight forward they'll bend slowly and they will cooperate with the wind so if i just walk into this come on dandelion or poppy <laughs> oh poppy is not working but the dandelion can you see it's working with me i just go into it and then the wind will just 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 push it back that's awesome like that that is really nice nice graphical aesthetical thing and then there are the apiaries now the bees they the bees themselves look awesome like can, can you see this one getting really fresh with me and getting really close to my eyes can you see how how, how well made the, the, the bees are they're just like a few polygons stick together i don't know if it's like a 2d texture floating in the air and you know changing its per perspective or if it's actually a model it seems to be a model but i can see even their wings yeah, flap in. That that that's the real attention to details. Normally they would just put like a blur texture or something there. And the APRs themselves, they're not copy pasted. Just look at them. Each and every one of them in at least in this row, I haven't checked in the other row set. It's unique. It's the thing unique. is if they're far enough from each other, you most likely won't be able to realise. But when they're right next to each other, you yeah. just do realise it. And and the apple Apples from Apple Tree, which looks terrible. Uh, they should take a page from Arma's books, <laughs> but uh, they will probably fix it later on. You know, the Cry Engine has capability to create a really awesome looking trees, and and then you know foliage itself. But if you look at the trees, they're uh, the apples. They're not the same. Like the apple cores and and and, and stuff. The, they're just copy pasted. You know, it's. You can see that they are not lazy developing in this game. There's no laziness in the in the in the art team, in the graphical UI, in the geometry team, in the in anything, in the coding team. There's no laziness whatsoever. This puddle is unlike any puddle in in the in, in the village. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I mean that's how that's how good this game looks. We're fascinated by a puddle. Can you see the moon over there? Um, like like really vaguely. Oh yeah 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 yeah, and, and, yeah I can see. It. And the <laughs> this seems like an Easter egg. The clouds go from west to east, which is a thing from Arma. Come on, the original clouds never go west to east all the time. Sometimes they go northwest to southeast. <laughs> but what I like the most about this game, and I know this will sound silly, is this river. This river. Can you see the grass in there? It should that be moving as well. Cool. But but the, the geometry of the river, it just it just goes. Like the water would go. It's not a straight line like some games would do looking at your Skyrim. It just 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 living. It is a, a river. That looks natural. You know, there's a fucking rock in my way and I'm I'm a river. What will I do? I will go fucking around it! So another rock, I will again go around it. That's how rivers work. In Skyrim, the water would go would go would go over the rock. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to shit on Skyrim. It, it, yeah, it, lo it looks like it. It it just all looks real. What I've seen in this game is this. There was a guy on the on the on the bridge here. He was fishing for no apparent reason. I haven't seen him fishing ever since. I haven't seen any fish in the in the in the water as well. I can see the apple there. Uh, <laughs> Can you see the waves I'm creating? The shaders needs to be fixed, but still. I haven't... Uh, how many games actually do this? That are not based on CryEngine? You know, I, I know that, that Unity Engine is, is, is capable of doing this. But, yeah, that's about it. Now, uh, that's about the, 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 the attention to detail. There's a lot. There's, there's a lot put into this game. If you look at the combo three, combo three I apps, yeah, show They're that compost. Same. Let's look at this one. Looks like an you know, actual compost. The, the thing is, the thing is, when I look at that compost, I think, "Fuck this!" I was throwing that fucking thing and turning it around a couple of weeks ago. 
<laughs> yeah. Silly sausage. And I actually don't know whether that's good. <laughs> Is that good when a game reminds you? Of, um, it's so realistic. Of a, of a really bad, bad real life experience. Oh, like, this, this, no, oh god, here. that word. Here's I, I one. remember. Yeah? <laughs> Completely different. They can actually figure out the, the people's diet from it. That guy li loved apples. Uh, there's a guy I who can, loves I can, I can smell it and I'm phoning you over Skype and you're playing the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy loved apples as well, but there was a guy who actually... Oh, this guy loved apples a lot. Uh, there, there, there's someone who loved to, la, la, loves pumpkin, I guess? Because there was like pumpkin or squash... Yeah, this one. Pumpkin or squash leaf or something? Maybe a little tooth or something like that? No, there's a carrot. No apples! This guy hates apples. <laughs> yeah? There's a shooting range. You can actually get a bow here, but you can't kill anyone yet. It actually, there's a pop-up window that will say uh, shooting people is not nice. So they haven't implemented it yet. And yeah, that's about the, the, the aesthetic issues. Again, not issues. Aesthetic looks of the game just aesthetics uh then it just looks like it's living in in then okay river, look at these two run. huts okay they look the same right pretty much the same am i right no they're not this one has outhouse here um not outhouse, the, 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 the rabbit thing and it, it's a floor based you know it's this floor whereas this one is slightly level floor and there's no that Nothing there, you know. Even the even the cottages themselves are unique in some in some aspect. Yeah, you might say that these two are the same. They're not. You know, this one has entrance over there, whereas this one has not entrance over there. It's awesome. It's really awesome, and everyone lives their own life. They do things, just walk around. Work. How cool there's p pigeon things. What? Yeah, you know, you you young guys, you know the emails and and Facebook messages this guy's and twitched again. He's just not doing anything. And I messages and all your fancy schmancy Skypes. You know, back in our days, we used to have pigeons. They uh, used to live in huts. Like, go on, show where's um, the hut. I'm not really sure if this is misleading or not, but I believe that the, the birds have moved a bit. They're not. <laughs> they're not flying in the in the same area. They they have they have before show, show me that pigeon hut let's show these guys what we used to have as kids uh, you thing? know when we were kids we used to have those little pigeon huts and we used to have our post pigeons and they used to post yeah our post and, 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 and we called the, the messages twit twits because because they were like twittering and you know when we ordered a, a usb stick off amazon a pigeon like that used to come to us yeah and deliver it yeah it was, it was, those, those were good days. Can you see this plank over this fucking puddle? <laughs> How cool is that? Because that's what you would exactly do. Yeah. There's, there's a puddle. Fuck it, I'm going to put a bridge over it. Anyway, this guy is glitched again, which is, which is a shame because you would see him actually like, you know, heating up the, the blades. Then, uh, hammering them. The, the metal them. on, I think metal in this game looks absolutely amazing yeah the, the hardcore is metal there, is there anyone in some armor or something or you could show uh, there's a bowmaster i'll show him later but <clears throat> the texture here i didn't like this texture it's low res it's, compared it's, to this guy but and, i mean it's early alpha yeah so. but why the hell did they use tes tessellation on it why with, with, with such a low res texture like this it's it's early alpha yeah, it's, you know, so. it's bound to change. And let's let's find a guy in a in a, some some metal armor. If he's over here, ish. No, he's not here yet. Oh, probably he went for lunch or something. Uh, this is actually from the from the game. Oh, here it is. Oh, look, at, that's just gorgeous. Yeah, that's a metal looking thing, but from the from the game design. Uh, aspect. It's great that your NPCs have like their own schedule and uh, an agenda, but from a mechanics point of view, it can be quite an issue because finding one guy can be quite a quest on itself. 
I'm sure it's going to be sorted out. And I, I mean, the thing is, once you got once you got such such nice landscape and villages to go through, you're just like happy just spending time I finding got de- someone. I got de- de- depressed over this game because there's a quest that you'll get bored that way. And I was looking for about three hours to find a guy who would give me a job. So I have 10 crochets, which is the currency, to get a bow from this guy and to actually get a bow and to, to bet some money so I can earn more. I was it's, looking uh, for three hours for him. Because I mean, everyone's like alpha. moving and doing doing all sorts of shit. It's quite hard. Even though they look quite different, you know, they're not like the same models and they have different faces. It's quite hard to figure out later on who have you talked to, and who have you not talked to, because they have no names. I, it's all gonna, that's all going to be yeah, addressed. I know, and but sorted out. still, still, that's something I have to I have to mention to to give people perspective. You know, uh, the first impressions should give people perspective about uh, how the game looks at the current state. This will be. This is not representative in any way, shape, or form of the final product. Yeah, it's not representative of it. Now let's go into the forest. Look, there's still the river. It's going, and it's going, it's going bigger. I like it. This is how rivers work. There are some rocks, and they make the river smaller again. That's how and rivers they make? work. There's a bank, you know, and there's a creek. That's how it works. It's not like it's going bigger and bigger and bigger, and then it's, then it becomes the ocean. No, look, there's a bridge. I know it's not something like amazing, you know, there's a bridge, oh my god, but it just it's plays just in, a, in, in a logical to detail. No, it's placed in logical place. You can see like the rocks securing the, 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 the planks. And it's actually like from here you can get to the village, it's actually there's like a way, you know, this way. So you just go like this to the bridge. It's like logical place and it's even like secured. It's not just someone put a plank over over water. They just put so much, so much attention to detail here. Another thing that caught my eye when I was streaming this was this. The hair snare. <laughs> and there's a rabbit caught in there. And actually, like close by, lives a tanner who tends them. That is their leather. leather. And there's, there's the rabbit hole. This is how, this is how you hunt, hunt rabbits. You put the snare close by to a hole. You just put it randomly, <laughs> willing there every, everywhere. Oh, the sun is coming down. Ah, uh, the, 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 the lightning effect of CryEngine. But there is the, 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 the tenor. He lives right next door to, to, the, to the... Next door to the forest. Wow. Uh, he lives right next to the forest. And here are the rabbit heights. He, he, just... Every place. And here is his compost heap. You know, uh, uh, these places, they look real. They look real. I... I it's not the graphical fidelity that gives them the feeling, the, the immersion. It's not not only the graphical fidelity. Yeah, that that gives me the, the the immersion. Yeah, it's also how the layout works. Like the tenor is not living in the middle of a city or a town because that's not convenient for him. And now it's slowly becoming night, so let's wait for night to kick in. I'll show the most important thing about this game. The, the thing that makes this game completely unique, apart from things we already showed, and the reason why I should actually go for this game, and uh, the reason why a uh, game called, I believe it, it is Star, Star Citizen, actually bought something from this game before it was even released. It's, As early alpha. <laughs> yeah, it's this. Yeah, yeah, that's inventory. Oh, here's the clock. You see it? Yeah, that's inventory. Uh, hmm, not impressed. It's I am. It's it's a, it's a great inventory system. I mean, yeah. either layout, it really suits the theme of the game. But and the most important thing is this over here. So you can see in Skyrim, okay, if you have clothes or some kind of clothing, and you get armor over it, you will remove the clothing. In Gothic in Risen, in any other RPG, even Baldur's Gate, you have just one layer of clothes 
sometimes even two layers. Yeah. I mean, but imagine how uncomfortable it must be to wear armor on your body. Yeah, but also you're without any clothes. The, the thing you're missing out the stats of of the things. You know, if I remove the leather shoes, I will I will remove the 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 legs armor here, which is quite important. And the shoes they can be changed for you know the leather shoes can be changed for like armored shoes, but on the chest you can see like three different slots, and you can make so many combinations. Like this 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 uh, uh, shirt can be combined with a with a chest plate and you know something something else. And it will give you bonus stats. That is really unique system. And you know, the, you have the classic. Then the, there will be crafting map. Ho you will have a horse, which is quite nice. And you know your character. There will be character creation. It's not implemented. You can't you can't do a lot of things because it's early early alpha. Now look at the fireflies. I love them. They're, they're gorgeous. I've been watching them on the stream for quite some time. Figuring out if they have like a pre-made, pre-made road, you know, if they're flying like in the in the specific template or something. No, they're not flying completely randomly. Yeah, it's just, just fly around and look at this 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 guy. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's dark or this so one. Gorgeous. It's dark, so I will get my lantern out. Only thing that I would like them to do is to actually like avoid the puddles. No, because you would normally, you won't, you wouldn't walk into a, you wouldn't walk into a puddle, you wouldn't download the car. <laughs> oh, and this guy, he's, he's sniffing his 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 wife's ass in the middle you of the night. You wouldn't stick a hoe in your wife's ass and then <laughs> stick it in her face, <laughs> and then stick it in her daughter's face. Now there are some ridiculous glitches, and I will show them to you right now, and then we will get to the to the options. Here is the bowmaster foe. Oh my. All right. Oh. Nothing there. I'm the medieval peeper. Oh yeah. I am the medieval peeper looking up skirt. Am I dragging her somewhere? Or is she walking on her own? I actually can see some resemblance of vagina. Wow. Be free, maiden. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, this is definitely alpha. <laughs> oh. Apparently in medieval there were no laws of physics. This is before the gravity was invented by by Sir Isaac Newton. <laughs> I am definitely Mursta. Can I ride a sheep? Oh. Can I ride it? Uh, don't 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 think about anything dirty, okay? Just wanna ride it like a horse. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh Jesus! This is awesome! Oh, fuck it, she's. She's wooden, guys! She's wooden! Give me a job, man! Do you want me to strip these for you? Do you want me to strip these? Do you really want to? This is it. And this is the life, you know. And? Where are you? I'm not topless. This is still PG-13. Alright, so you've seen the, the, the ridiculous glitches. You cannot ride the chicken, though. And let's say the flying women are kind of things in <laughs> here. They're, they're sort of an easter egg. To the witchcraft, I believe. No, they're just glitching. Oh, this guy! He went fishing again! Oh, it's the middle of the night. Which, the, maybe he's like, uh, maybe he's some poaching. Fish, some fish are easier to catch at night. I mean... Yeah, that's true. But maybe he's poaching. <laughs> now, you cannot go into the menu from the game. If I press quit, it will quit the game completely. Luckily, uh, there's the help. It's temporary. Yeah, I'm sure That's you'll be way. able to rebind keys. Yeah, it's just the way it works now. And 
let's give a little little background of the game. Well, it's developed by Warhorse Studios. Uh, the main guy behind Warhorse Studios is Daniel Wavra, who is uh, who was part of the development team team of Mafia, which was in its time it was one of the best games, open world games, apart from GTA. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then there are some people from Vietcong, I believe. And In fact, one of the graphics guy is not able to work on this game because he is working on The Hobbit. That's something impressive, I think. There we go. That's awesome. That's something to bear in mind. Uh, shamefully, I can't show the bow because it takes tremendous time to get it. Well, actually, to find a villager that will give you a job so you can earn some money. It takes it takes me always so much time to actually find a villager. I never remember which one it is. Archery is quite decent, I dare say. Yeah, it, it's decent. It's alpha. But it's decent. And, and the, the combat are... the combat in this game is a really interesting system. And it's like a five 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 uh sort of hits and five blocks. Yeah. You it's you not sort of implemented. Your... It's not implemented. It's... It's not implemented yet, but they have got some pre-alpha yeah, they have versions. Like a, they have like drafts. Which look pretty decent. However... Uh, and so there's five spots you can hit, and there's five spots where you can defend, and you sort of see that your opponent is going to hit you on the right leg or something, yeah. and you can then block will, on the right leg. We will show, show the combat system when it's, when it's actual, when it's, when, it's, uh, when it's actually in the game. We will follow this game closely. Yeah, we will make updates on this game. However, uh, there is this is version uh, 0.1, and I have to admit they, they did some decent job. Uh, however, what I missed out is a save all system, which would be generous for for me. It's not important, but it would be generous thing for me because I would actually have, I would have an option to use the bow, <laughs> and then uh, and show it, you know, on the video. Then there is a. Uh, Another thing that I would like to implement it, and that's a bug report system, because as you can see in, on the screen, uh, you will have, the, there will be <clears throat> like snapshots every two months, and if you have any ideas, comments, bugs, or bugs to report, you have to write an email, yeah? Ooh. But that's quite terrible system, I dare say, because if there should be a system inside, implemented, that would create a bug log, you know, would create the, the log, and... I'm sure, the thing is, now you can see the bugs, and you don't really have to look for them, so I'm sure yeah. bug reporting isn't that important yeah. at it's... this particular stage. Anyway, to the settings menu. Game settings, quite threadbare, it's alpha. So, you know, you can change your, your mouse sensitivity. Then you can invert mouse controller and turn off and on subtitles. I recommend them on, because... There's no voice acting, as you might have seen. And then there's PS4 and Xbox controller option instead of Which mouse. Which is pretty... Uh, I like that, you know, it's not it's not hard to add in. And it's, yeah. you know, some people like a PS3 controller, PS4 controller, so whatever. And some people own PS4, some people own Xbox One. This game will be for them as well. It will be released on It them. will be released on all platforms. Except for, however, except for Wii U, <laughs> iOS, Wii U. Android, there's too many flat platforms, Sam. You, you cannot however, say that. All major platforms. However, uh, unlike major. Skyrim, which had a massive problem, and in fact, all games that are released on all platforms, or yeah, most with, games, with the with the with the, with the UI, yeah. And these guys, from from their public opinions. You know, if you read between lines, then they were saying that they did dislike that, that, you know, the PC should be optimized for mouse and yeah. the PlayStation 4 should be optimized for game controller. Which for I PlayStation think is 4 correct. game controller. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the important thing because the X Xbox One and PS4 controllers are completely different. You know, on PS4 you have the touchpad thing, which kind of is different and if it if it was used for crafting or something it would be a really cool addition 
Yeah, like stirring your soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, graphic settings again. Alpha on the resolution, full screen, and details. Hard and medium, they do not differ. I haven't seen any difference except for the frame rate. Uh, if you're interested, what what uh, what is what are my specifications that I'm that I'm playing the game on? I'll put the uh, the specs are here in the left upper corner, and then there are sound settings, which you know three different sliders. I would appreciate ambient sounds here, so you know you could you you could change the sound of the cicadas and etc. It's now under sound. So. Okay. If you want more updates on this, be sure to subscribe to us as whenever a new alpha or beta version comes out, we will be posting about the updates. Yeah. Be sure to check out the guy's website. They will be down in the description below. You can uh, you can pledge there from uh, $5 up to $5,000. Uh, the five and if you pledge five thousand dollars, you get some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, you get some really cool stuff. I've not seen such a cool Kickstarter pledge thing. Yeah, you get you get, you get really like a sword stuff. or something. You get you get a freaking handmade sword. Yeah, that's how cool it is. Like that, that's awesome. <laughs> but still, it's five thousand bucks. I think I think you could get the sword for three hundred dollars even. Yeah. I think the sword started at three hundred dollars, which in Star Citizen you just get like a just just like in game thing, which hmm, meh. If you wanna see more and earlier than this, because this is a really late video, be sure to follow us on Twitch because we will be first streaming and then doing a the video. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is where we part ways. Bye! Bye. Gimme, gimme. Give me another dimension. I don't wanna live in this one because this is not cool.